was the night before NBA Christmas when all through the league, everyone is getting buckets, even Jeff Teague. The burner accounts were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of Durant danced in their heads. When out on Instagram arose such a clatter, Cavs fans sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but an overachieving team and eight tiny reindeer. With a 7-3 driver who's got crazy hops, I knew in a moment it must be St. Christophs. Porzingis is thirsty, pass him the ball. Slide in his DMs, slide away, slide away, slide away all. James Harden spoke not a word but went straight to his work. Crossing over fools then turned with a jerk. Harden sprang to his sleigh, to CP3 he gave a whistle. Away they flew to the West Finals like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, LeBron, LeBron I'm the, the MVP, MVP, and to all a good night. Imagine if Kevin McAllister from Home Alone was Travis Scott. This is what it would look like on, on the lawn, right? If he's in there pulling the strings, he ain't setting up no booby traps inside. He's just putting his lyrics out there on the screen, lighten it up. The, the best part is this is when you drop the, best the, the limo, part. the limo, <laughs> the limo. limo going across the screen. Like that dedication. It, in addition to not only the lyrics, but when you throw a limo for everyone driving no, by to see. This dude has to have that's several how you go engineering viral. degrees. That's several. how you go viral. Uh, <laughs> the reason why we show you these videos again is any instance of getting buckets, whether it's on or off the court, we ask that you send them to us. This is a great example. Buckets is not just a basketball culture, it is a lifestyle. He's Rob, I'm Cassidy, and this is our very special holiday edition of Buckets. And later on, uh, we look back on a Joe, 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 merry year of MB trolling. Plus, hmm. Rob has a foolproof plan on how to watch the Christmas Day games without your family and without friends. Without getting caught. Yes. It's the hardest part. Yelling at it's you. Christmas. Uh, but speaking of that five game slate, we wrote out our Christmas list uh, for those games. So let's check it. Starting with Sixers Knicks, the first game of the day. A little nervous to ask you what you're looking forward to in that game. Well, you should be. Yeah. Because this we've been waiting for this game all season. This is NBA. We've been, yes. We I think NBA. You know, at the beginning of the year when it was announced, it was not as now that Embiid's been yapping yep, his mouth a little is, bit. For and sure. The Knicks fans will stand on the Porzingis Hill that he is better than Embiid for X, X, and X reasons. Sixers fans, we are finally meeting yes. with both players. I think they're gonna be healthy enough. You know, to play. Do you know what I want for Christmas? I want Kristaps Porzingis to dunk on Joel Embiid. Okay. I want his jo Embiid's body to lay flat on the paint. I want Jen Selter to be sitting courtside. I want Selter still to still alive, by the way. Still alive. Yes. I still want I want Selter to come out, yes. take a selfie on top of him, Embiid's corpse on the floor right Jeez, now. This is morbid. Yes. Hashtag trust the Porzingis. Yes. And then go back to her seat. <laughs> selfie on top of his body. That's what I want that's for Christmas. Visual. That's what I want for Christmas. I'm sorry. Okay. That's, I mean, fine. Santa, are you listening? Hopefully. Next up, Cavs Warriors. Mm, Finals marquee rematch. Game. Marquee game. All I want for Christmas is to have JaVale McGee, Swaggy P, with just a beautiful off mm. the backboard alley oop. Just, Who's throwing it to who? Uh, you know what? I want one of each. I'm I think greedy. JaVale. I'm greedy. If it's JaVale the Swaggy? Because if it's JaVale, that means he's point JaVale. Yes, there we go. We've seen Nick Young try and do crazy stuff. Not with just the ball. my list, it's our list. But that means Nick Young's got to finish an alley oop. All he does is really shoot threes. We need to see him throw down. That's why it makes it special. Okay. Uh, my, for this game, by the way, we should both get presents for this because that's yes. a marquee game. Yeah. I want to see LeBron pull up on Durant the same way Durant pulled up on LeBron Ooh. in game three of the finals. The torch then. I want to see a game pass winning back. shot. Yeah. The pass. That, that is the same way you get the torch back. Okay. okay, okay you have to it. do the same thing to that player, got and it. then you get the torch back. Okay. It's got to be from that spot, that, that big three, to win the game. LeBron on Durant. Third game of the day Wizards, Celtics. What do you want to see in that game? I want to see everyone not named John Wall and Kyrie Irving to put your warm ups back on. Maybe, maybe a little Christmas costume, maybe a sweater of some kind. And I want you to go sit in the stands. I don't want, you don't play <laughs> basketball. Let yes. Kyrie Irving and John Wall play one-on-one -on -one for 48 minutes. Mm. It's the matchup that yes. 
we have always wanted. They've always been like either injured or yeah. suspended or not playing. Who's the true point guard? We on national television, the Wizards and Celtics have not liked each other for years. This is the opportunity to get the one-on-one -on -one entire world watching game that we deserve. Okay, the must watch game of the day. Which one? Rockets Thunder. Why is that? Are you a little biased? <laughs> I'll be working, why is that? I'll be on the sidelines oh, for that game. Oh, that's why. So okay. I'm just saying, can you help a girl out? Just add a more, couple more ticks on that rating, though. All I'm saying. All I want for Christmas. That, and I don't, I, I don't want you guys to catch me making um, crazy faces. I was about again. to say, all I, I want for Christmas <laughs> is that people keep gifting. You have like a very gifable, I not only face, faces. but personality. I talk with my hands. I make a lot of faces. I'm thinking things through you in th my head. You throw shade without yeah. throwing shade. It's like, yeah, you do it naturally, which is why people gift you throwing shade I'm all the time. I'm, You're gift I'm oh, gifted. There's no way you just thought of that. I did. Okay. See? It was natural? Gifted. Okay. Uh, last but not least, the nightcap. Yes. T-Wolves Lakers. Uh, this is real simple for me. I'm an agent of NBA chaos. I love, yes. I love Lonzo Ball because he's just a lightning rod for people debating, is he actually good? Is he terrible? He can't. He has a terrible jump shot, but then he's dropping the most triple doubles for rookies. Yeah. I want Lonzo Ball to put up a quadruple double. Quadruple Not double. with turnovers, quadruple double. And the only points that he scores are free throws. Ten <laughs> points on free throws. Do you agree? Um, Imagine if Lonzo Ball sure. dropped a quadruple double. I mean, we're going to be kind of faded by, oh, not me, because I would just be coming off work, but most people are going to be faded by that time of the day. That would so. lead like CNN in like Fox. If Lonzo Ball <laughs> had a quadruple double, everyone on earth would be talking yes. about it. Never lost. But he didn't make a shot. People would actually say that in yeah. a quadruple double. So and that's all we want for Christmas. And now, a banger. So some people spread holiday cheer, others dish out coal. There's one person who does both, Joel Embiid. Jojo. Yep. Uh, he may be a troll, but he's no Grinch. He's been handing out NBA gifts on social media all year long. So here is a review of a Jojo Jo merry year of trolling, starting with Hassan Whiteside. His number one target. Yeah, the, the most savage part about this, by the way, is this is preseason. <laughs> you just saw the floor. It's at Kansas City. They were yeah. playing a neutral site. It wasn't even in Philadelphia or Miami. It was in Kansas City. He goes over to Hassan Whiteside, tells him to go sit his ass on the bench in yeah. the first quarter of a preseason game. And, and B never forgets anything because that dated back to last year, the, the pettiness between Whiteside and Embiid. He remembered it into a preseason game. Yeah. Like, when, usually when you say, I'm going to get you back, it's not nope. preseason. No. So Embiid, of course, as soon as the game is over, goes straight to Twitter. Dude, take your ass out, or they would have fouled you out in five minutes. <laughs> Quote tweeting Hassan for the world to see. Hashtag yeah. softy. Exactly. And keep caring about your stats and not your team's success. Your plus minus was ass. <laughs> when, when Embiid pulls out advanced in analytics, like plus exactly. minus, my PER. Exactly. Wait till the day he drops Next a level. VORP. Wait till it dry, he drops a VORP. Yes. In, a, in a PER in a tweet. Next That's level next. trolling. There's only two ways to deal with trolls. It's do not respond to them yeah. or out troll the troll. Yeah. You can't like, ever show that chance. you're frustrated or you think you won. Otherwise, the troll wins yeah, every yeah. time. And it continued after this tweet because Joel Embiid runs Twitter. Unnecessary shade <laughs> towards, like, out of nowhere. He gets it off on Durant yes. for no reason. Two I thought this was my burner yeah. account. Exactly. Bringing Durant into this. If I'm KD sitting at home, I'm like, what the hell, man? Yeah. I, what did I ever do to you? Well, actually, this is what makes Joel Joel. And Katie actually responded in a way. I don't want to lose to these guys, especially, especially Joe. He goes, he he went straight to Twitter and start talking. <laughs> Durant said they had to win the game, not for the Warriors. Yeah. Not for the standings. Right. Not for the championship. No. Nope. Not to beat Joel. Yes. Joel has got so much real estate in NBA players' Look, minds. Katie, they say Katie's not nice. When he, he talks a lot of trash on the court. He loves it. The problem is Embiid is bringing out 
everyone's Super Bowl performance, yeah. <laughs> right? When you play Embiid, you don't want to be the dude who got dunked on, got yeah. beat. You don't want to end up in one of his quote tweets. The, no. the Sixers may have won that game if he knew he didn't throw that shade to Durant in right. the preseason. And you know Durant saw yeah. it. You absolutely know Durant was in there with from 10, multiple 10 accounts. straight replies. He saw saying, it from this is multiple accounts. 100%. Exactly. Uh, also, Embiid, he loves to troll the other big men. No disrespect, but he can't shoot, so... If you're saying is Joel Embiid going over the top with these? No, because it worked. And Drummond was in foul trouble the first and half. And he got him out. Yeah, he called Joel Embiid called himself the James. He wants to be the James Harden of centers because he, he he wants to <laughs> he wants to get people fouled out. He wants to get in people's heads. He admitted after this Andre Drummond, if he can get people to be aggressive because of his words and his Twitter fingers, then he wins. Embiid is a monster. He's seven two. God knows how many pounds of like pure muscle. Andre Drummond is one of the few guys in this league who could stand up to him physically. No. Because it's been getting bullied by somebody bigger than you. Drummond got snarfed by Embiid. Right. Snarfed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Embiid, he also came at mm, maybe the wrong people, at least according to Melo. Melo said, I'm not the one. And that just uh, revved up Embiid even more against the Thunder. Bye. <laughs> but, like, he's telling Steven, one of the most disrespectful things you could do in basketball, by the way, at least in the NBA is when a player fouls out, wave bye to them. Like, the stadium's going to play hit the road, Jack. No, yeah. and never, that's fine. That happens all the time. But when you get a player with his back turned, yes. you didn't do it to his face with his back turned. Yep. That's why people get pissed off at him all the time. You talk about Drummond being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Embiid. You talk about Game of Thrones here can do the same thing. Steven Adams, granted, this was overtime, yeah. but you can't, like, foul out against him ever. No. Otherwise, you're going to get it every single time. He's proved it. With like Even Whiteside didn't foul out. Get up out of here. Yeah, but you know, as you always tweet about, there are petty, petty wars. Brooke. They call him Troel Embiid. Let me introduce you to Russell Pettybrook. Okay? <laughs> Pettybrook, if you wave bye to my guy, you sure as hell better know I'm going to wait for the camera to come on me first, and then I'm going to wave bye until you no. go home. This is go a, home. This is a this, heavyweight battle. This is the only way to get back at Joel Embiid. <laughs> but the problem is, even when you come at him, or if he gets come at, like Westbrook did to him, he still comes at you. Yeah. We shot, I uh, would have shot 33 times, and uh, I guess we would have, we would have had a, a better chance of uh, actually winning the game. But, you know, he told me to go home, man. This is my home, man. I ain't going nowhere. So Embiid is talking about, if, you t if I got to take 30 shots, I probably would have scored 30 points, too. Even when Westbrook gets the upper hand, my man's got to get the spotlight back. And, just a little bit, even when he catches up. This is just the beginning of the season. For most people, Christmas Day is the unofficial start to the NBA season. Not us, but for, for, for some people. Right. So what that means is this is just the beginning of a season of trolling for the one and only Joel Embiid. And now this is a guide of how to watch NBA basketball all day on Christmas without getting yelled at by your friends and family. Number one, early ass wake up call. I'm talking like when you were five years old and would break into your parents' rooms, start jumping on their bed screaming, Santa came, Santa came, get up. Number two, hold it. Number three, open presents between Sixers Knicks and Cavs Golden State. There is a 40 minute window between tip offs. Number four, Offer everyone a drink or something to eat from the kitchen while you stream the game on your phone. Number five, it's time to fake a call. Set up a fake call app on your iPhone and time it exactly for the six minute TV timeout in the second quarter. Number six, between Cavs Warriors and Wizards Celtics, this is a great time to go for a walk with everyone. Getting the family and friends out of the house will make them sleepy and want to sit down and watch basketball on TV. Number seven, this is risky, but offer to help clean the dishes. Major brownie points. 75% chance you won't have to, and if you somehow survive this, you are set for the rest of the night. Finally, T-Wolves at Lakers. Everyone's gonna be passed out by the time this game tips. Enjoy it with a nice nightcap. You earned it. That's going to do it for our holiday edition of Buckets. Uh, hit up the comment section over the new year. We'll be back the first week of January. I wasn't supposed to do this, but... <laughs> <laughs>
I'm feeling petty right now. <laughs> you can, do, you can do whatever you want. Can they see the antlers? In We're on Christmas vacation. We are. Yes. I can only so get, good luck. You can't yell at someone over a Christmas vacation. Yeah. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Get buckets or die trying, as always, and make sure you stay petty. And find a way to watch NBA on Christmas. Use the guide if you have to. It's the Daytona 500. Of, it's when NBA season really kicks off. Do your part. Go home. Bye. 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 Go home. I do the Westbrook better. Bye.